Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Boston. I've been in love with this town for 20 years and I'm so glad to be back to make our videos. And today what we have for you are the five things you're going to love and yes I'm a bit of a homer and hate about visiting Boston. So let's get started. The first thing you're not going to like about coming to Boston is kind of the the fake replica rip-off kind of things that happen here. Probably the biggest thing you're going to notice is when you go to places like Quincy Market and uh, you know Faneuil Hall and things like that, you go there and you're like, oh man, look at this historic building. It's going to be great. I'm going to go inside, have historic food or other things like that. And you walk into like Quincy Market and you're like, oh, I'm walking into a food court from my local mall. Oh, and look, there's a replica bar of Cheers there. Oh, okay. And oh, the Boston Tea Party. I can go on the boats with our replica cousin. There's some kind of this replica kind of thing that gets a little bit overplayed, you know, oh, the best clam chowder in Boston and things like that. And that does get a bit <sighs> frustrating when you are here. So that's why I kind of have it the first thing is, you know, the second thing you're not going to like when you come here is, look, if you come in the winter, I'm not going to lie to you. The winter weather is horrible. The rest of the year, man, fall is fantastic. Summer's nice. Spring's beautiful. All this stuff. But when you come in winter, it's cold. It's windy. And when it snows, it doesn't snow a little bit. It snows a lot bit okay and when you're trying to get around town and all this stuff like that it is just bitterly cold so try to avoid coming here you know december january february early march these kind of things because the weather winter weather is horrible now the third thing you're not going to like about when you come here is driving and parking Look, this is a historic city. It's been around for hundreds of years. They did not put in a grid system, you know, 400 years ago. So you have all these windy roads and one-way roads this way and that way and this way and that way. And it is super confusing if you're not from here. And even if you have GPS, knowing which way to go can be really tough. So you get stuck in traffic and all kinds of stuff. And it's really frustrating. And trying to find parking. I don't even say anything about affordable parking. That doesn't exist. But trying to find parking also is real pain. So that's the third thing you're not going to like so what I'd say is you know if you're gonna stay out you know take the T in the, the T is the like the local subway and stuff like that or the buses in you'll be fine okay but just know the driving and parking is really crazy and that leads us into the fourth thing you're not gonna like when you're here is that the jaywalking in this town I mean seriously Bostonians take jaywalking to the next level I mean they jaywalk all the time now they don't like walk into traffic and it's not like when you're like in Naples and Italy where you like weave through the traffic as it goes but people here they go oh, I got a, I got a spot they're just gonna go because you have all these one-way streets and people not knowing which way they're gonna go and stuff like that so you do see a lot of people jaywalking so do a pay, pay attention to the locals but if you're not sure don't just like walk out because remember you don't know if this is a one-way street or two ways going this way or there's a herd of people on the the freedom trail that are gonna run you over going that way but just know is that the jaywalkers from when you're driving or when you're there it, it's a bit it's a bit messed up when you are here with that and the fifth hate you might have when you're here remember i'm kind of a homer so it's hard for me to find the hates is look there is a lot of cobblestone this is a historic city from the american revolution and you have all these great old architecture and stuff like that and they do have some cobblestones around and things like that and since you're going to be walking around a lot when you're here one your feet are going to hurt and with those cobblestones if you got bad ankles and things like that you do need to be careful i have seen a few tourists walking around going you know with a with a little limp because they twisted their ankles and stuff like that a guy over i just bumped into he had flip-flops so I was like I think I broke my toe I'm like yeah dude that's why you don't wear flip-flops when you're here okay so those are five like little things you might not like when you're here but what are you gonna love when you're here well let's be honest Boston is kind of the cradle of US history I mean this place is amazing that first thing you're gonna love is the historic aspect of Boston walking the Freedom Trail it's cool there's this red brick line like two bricks next to each other that goes all through the historic center and goes to like 16 different spots along the way you can see Paul Revere's house you can see you know the, the, the ch churches behind me there's all over famous graveyards where you can see famous people oh Sam Adams he's buried right over there and you have all these famous spots oh you know where Paul Revere told the guy hey you know put the put the lamps in the, in the church and the bell tower one if by land two if by sea that's here and you have all this history and it really is you're like going on an eighth grade history trip you know and it's really cool and that's what I love about this you have a really great historical city and they've done a great job of promoting that you can get tours and guides you get the people dressed up in period pieces you know people look like me they look like Benjamin Franklin you know no hair here and long on the sides 
yes, there's people doing those things. And it is so cool to get that kind of historic, you know, feel with the city because there's so much to it. Now, the second thing you're going to love, remember I talked about how you're going to do all that walking. What's cool is the historic center, like the Revolutionary War part and things like that, and that the trail, it's all really compact. You can easily navigate Boston on foot to go see the major sites. I just walked from the South Station, did the whole trail, went up to Bunker Hill, all these things. No big deal. Yes, there's some hills and some cobblestones that kind of suck, but actually it's really navigable. You can get around the town really easy. And you want to get farther afield, you can take the tea or the buses and get all around really easy driving no but getting around is so cool and that's what's nice about it there's a nice infrastructure that is here for tourists and I, I do enjoy that but that easy navigable center ease to walk around stuff really makes a big difference now the third thing you're gonna love about this place is I know I've talked about all this history and stuff but the third thing you're gonna love is all the non history stuff you can do when you're here oh you're, you're tired of reliving eighth grade because you got bullied a lot well we can do other things when we're here Yes, there's aquariums and there's zoos and there's all kinds of things you can do outside and you can go see the USS Constitution and, and all this stuff, but also there's sports, there's activities, there's museums. Man, if you can go to Fenway, you know, Fenway and Wrigley, man, if you're going to go see baseball in America, those are two places you go. Fenway here in Boston, Wrigley in Chicago, it is an experience. The Bleacher Bar, look, you don't have to get a ticket. If you're there when there's a game day, you know, go get a beer at the bleacher bar, go take a whiz, and you can watch the game from the whiz. I mean, go to the bathroom. That is so cool, but get to a Red Sox game. That's cool. If, you're, if the Red Sox aren't playing, they love their sports here. See the Bruins in hockey or the Celtics in, in basketball. If you get tickets to go to Gillette Stadium and go see, you know, the, the New England Patriots playing, because really, I mean, you know, lots of people say the Trinity is, you know, God the Father, Jesus, and, and the Holy Spirit. Well, here it's the three Bs. It's Brady, Belichick, and Bird. Those are the three like trinity of kind of sports here in uh, in Boston. And so there is a lot of that, you know, a lot of that sports stuff. But the architecture here too, when you walk around town, you do the historic stuff. That's cool. But there's all kinds of new modern architecture and relatively new architecture to see here. And it's such a great feeling walking on the waterfront in Boston Harbor. Yes, you see the, the Boston Tea Party Museum, but also you look and see the views. It's really beautiful here with the architecture and the art. You can go, I mean, the, the Museum of Fine Arts or you know, the Garden Museum, there's that. I mean, there's all kinds of really cool museums around town to take it in because this city has a lot of history, had a lot of money, and so there's a lot of really good museums to enjoy. So it's not just history, there's also art, architecture, and sports to enjoy when you're here. Now, the fourth thing that I've really liked about coming to Boston is it is pretty safe. I mean, for a big U.S. city, this is probably one of the safest big U.S. cities all around. We've been walking around, enjoying the sights. I've never worried about my wallet. I've never worried about anything where I've gone. Yes, there's some bad parts of Boston, okay? I'm not going to say it's safe everywhere. But for tourists, this easy walking around places you're going to, it does feel safe and it is safe, except for like breaking your ankles on cobblestones. It is a really safe city, which is really great. So you can take the tea to go see places and you're not worried, oh, do I need to make pretend like I don't exist so they don't see me when I'm the, on the tea and stuff like that, you know? And it's really cool taking the green line, you know, and like, whoa, 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 <laughs> on there. I mean, that's one of my favorite memories. The first time I came here is like getting whiplash on the, on the green line. I and mean, there's all kinds of really cool stuff here, but it's safe. And the thing is they have this great infrastructure here and it really makes it a nice thing to do. So that's why I really recommend coming here. Now, the fifth thing you're gonna love when you come here is, you know, I always like to talk about the food, but actually Boston does have a really good history and New England has a really good history of great food. And yes, you will have the seafood when you're here. Go try one of the oyster bars around town, eat there. You know, the Parker House rolls are from here. There's the Omni Parker House Hotel. You could stay there and get the rolls. And you know, there's all kinds of great food here. Yes, you know, the clam chowder, everyone claims they have the best clam chowder in Boston. Look, wherever you are, at least have it, try it. There's bakeries all around town, the North End, with all the Italian families and history there. Yes, you can go to Mike's Mike's pastry shop there and you know and, and go have your cannoli there, which which I did. It's super touristy, but it's really good. It's worth it, it's tasty. Mm. It's tourist tasty. <laughs> There's lots of places there that have that. And you can go around to different neighborhoods and have different kinds of food. And it is really good. And yes, you can have a Boston cream pie. And yes, you can drink, you know, Sam Adams beer, which is from around here. But there's a lot of local produced beers in New England you can enjoy here. Tons of bars. Yes, there is the Cheers bar you could go to. 
which is fine. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, hey, it's, it's, it, you want to do that? It's got beer. But there are a lot of really cool places you can go out to and enjoy and explore out there. And, and, and that's what's really cool is you can really explore and enjoy these things. And then I guess I'll throw in a sixth love. Is one thing is Boston is one of those places where you can bring your kids because they do have an aquarium. They do have a, a really nice children's museum here. And you'll see like the, when you, your kids will like it because there's a big bottle of milk outside, you know, uh, it's kind of statue which actually sells snacks and stuff like that. Um, the historic side of it, the aquarium, like I said, the museums that are here, Boston Commons here, you can let them run around and enjoy things. I mean, it's a park where you can actually go on the grass. It is really a family friendly place. And that's why I can see why a lot of people want to move here. Here and live in Boston. Oh, I'd love to live on Beacon Hill, but I, I, there's no way I would ever make enough money. But there is really this kind of cool vibe for the city. So those are the five things that I love and hate about visiting Boston. What are the things that you love and hate about Boston? And yes, if you want to put down the sports teams, that's fine. Either way. Oh, by the way, don't compare them to like New York here or, or talk about Yankees, stuff like that. That's not cool. This is a whole different historical city versus a New York or Chicago or other kind of places. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. If you want to learn more, we got another video, what you don't don't do when you are here uh, in Boston and we've also got videos on 10 things that will shock you about the US, 5 things you love to have different places around the world, all on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions and if you like videos like this, travel videos and other things, click that subscribe button and we put out two travel videos every week. So I'll say bye from Boston and now you know you don't have to do the Boston accent, no, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> anyway, bye from Boston.